Y'all know what happened to Stunner for Vegas. I don't know. Folks has just disappeared from the face of the universe. Well, I did hear that he just dropped something recently or whatever. But we need to know what happened to him. And this motherfucker made a video on why the baby abandoned Stunner for Vegas. His channel was called 1111. You feel me? So shout out 1111 for bringing us this video. We finna get into this shit and find out what the fuck happened. Back in 2019, when DaBaby exploded into the mainstream, you couldn't help but also notice this other artist who was always seen with him. Labeled by many as DaBaby's sidekick, it's almost impossible to find a DaBaby concert, TV performance, or interview from 2019 where he's not beside fellow North Carolina rapper Stunna for Vegas. Oh, we just the hottest two ever. <laughs> That's what's up. That too. However, after actually signing to DaBaby under his billion dollar baby record label, attaching himself to one of the hottest rappers at the time, it was- I ain't gonna catch to you, bro. We gonna watch this video, but I don't fuck with how he got his voice edited. So I ain't gonna watch no more of his videos after this shit. Wasn't long before this decision came back to bite him because following the pandemic, Stunna was never able to regain anywhere close to that same success. But what really happened between the two? Although some fans believe that Stunna for Vegas actually retired from rapping after splitting from DaBaby's label and is instead now entirely focused on his AAU basketball team, in this video we reveal the truth behind why Stunna's music career went downhill so fast. Tired of this, right? That's no, I was tired of this. Like being a rapper for real. Let's go. This past decade, we've seen countless up and coming artists signed to one of these rapper owned record labels, and it turned out to be the worst decision they've ever made. And the truth is, DaBaby's record label is no exception. However, let's put ourselves in the shoes of Stun Ever Vegas for a second. Prior to him and DaBaby becoming, as they claim, the hottest hey. duo ever, born and raised in Salisbury, North Carolina, only about an hour north of Charlotte and with no relation to the city of Vegas, as the four in his name stands for his area code 704, Stun Ever Vegas began taking music seriously once he graduated high school. And from there, he didn't stop, slowly gaining attention in the local scene with multiple mixtapes and singles. Just a year later, Stunna's music would catch the eye of another buzzing Charlotte rapper, DaBaby, actually through an Instagram post by a local DJ. I was popping my shit too for sure, and baby seen it, and he liked something, but he didn't like it on my page. So whoever he page he liked it on hit me up, and I said, "Man, tell him I'm trying to get in touch with him." And baby responded to me just like that, listing some of his biggest influence. Okay, yeah, that, that that's what that's you having to go out there. You gotta go out and get it. You feel me? Now, if he didn't never go out his way and tell him, yo, tell him to hit my line this that, and third. He probably would never have got that opportunity. So sometimes you be having the opportunities right in your face. You just got to take the extra step. But lots of motherfuckers be like, nah, I don't want to ask nobody to hit my line. I don't, I don't need nobody help for real. You feel me? And then you miss a motherfucking blessing. So that, that, that's just a little motherfucking advice. Influences as Lil Wayne, T.I., and Gucci Mane. Although Stunna had been making small strides independently, this opportunity to link with one of the hottest artists in his city was too good to pass up. Now at this point in 2018, DaBaby was by no means the global superstar that he was about to soon be. But that's not to say he wasn't still a well-known name in the Carolina scene. After the two met up in person though, they not only noticed their instant chemistry together as friends, but also their chemistry in the studio as they wasted no time getting to work. I saw raw talent, says to baby a first meeting Stunna. I could tell without having anything that he still walked and talked like a star. He hard, man. A little nigga star. Yeah. You know what I mean? He did what a star gonna do. Yeah. And I led him in the right direction. Working with DaBaby was, as Stunna said, an opportunity that changed his entire life. However, as we'll see in a second, Stunna for Vegas has since moved on from that lavish lifestyle that DaBaby provided. Literally the day after connecting on Instagram in September of 2018, the two recorded their first song together, titled Animal. I pop a perk and give you both that. I, I know, like I had a and that was my shit in high school, man. I was getting high as hell to this song, man. I made the bitches listen to this song 30 times. The bitches be like, damn, you listen to this shit again? Yes, bitch! Yes! Damn! Come on, now! Now turn up to this shit. 
animal with a verse from DaBaby that Stunna paid for, which thanks to DaBaby also posting the track on his okay, own YouTube is channel is still one of Stunna's most popular songs. But to follow up Animal then came the track four times on DaBaby's Blank Blank mixtape two months later, a project that Stunna for Vegas was the only feature on. Clearly, DaBaby and Stunna were really hitting it off, and fans were loving the music they were dropping together. So, in late 2018, DaBaby made the decision to actually sign Stunna for Vegas to his new record label Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. Joining a roster of artists including K Kilo, Wisdom, and this guy Rich Dunk with the crazy hair. I don't know any of these motherfuckers except for Stunner. I'm gonna keep it a honey with you. Nah, but no, no, hey, I don't know who. Maybe they doing good with their career. I don't know. But the only motherfucker I know, heard of, or ever seen before is Stunner. I haven't even never seen any of these other motherfuckers next to him before. Like you got an independent label, Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. Like, he's LeBron James. Like, like, okay, so you signed him to your label, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bro, That's dang. what's up. It's never been done before like this, recalls Stunna of signing to DaBaby. You see other rappers and other labels with the jewelry and clothes with the tape that blew up like three years ago. Now, all they are is fresh on Instagram. Three years from now, me and Baby will still be the hottest rappers in the game. Stunna believed that signing to DaBaby was the best choice for his career and his dream of becoming a star. However, although here in 2024, he has since split and is a fully independent artist now dropping under 3 million monthly listeners, judging okay, from Stunna and DaBaby's success in 2019, you would have never Never guessed. While the baby's blank blank mixtape continued his momentum, it wasn't until March of 2019 that he would explode straight into the mainstream, all thanks to his debut album. One look at the now platinum baby on baby tracklist and you'll notice that with only four features on the 13 total songs, back when this album dropped, Rich the Kid, Offset, and Rich Homie Kwan were all mainstream names that the majority of people had heard before but not this other guy, Stunna for Vegas on the track, Joggers. However, thanks to the duo's energy, charisma, personality, and of course, musical talent, combined with the two beginning to play shows together all over the world, often at multiple venues in a single day, as DaBaby continued to blow up, he was also heavily pushing his new artist, Stunna for Vegas, bringing him with him everywhere. Hey, go catch you. One thing I can say, DaBaby was forcing motherfuckers to fuck with Stunner for Vegas, like Stunner for Vegas, Stunner for Vegas, Stunner for Vegas. Like, I ain't gonna count to you. The baby was a real ass nigga because he was promoting his motherfucking artist. For sure. Lots of motherfuckers signed the motherfucker and low key be on some hating ass shit, not one of their artists to get bigger than them. So if they see them get bigger, they instantly stop promoting them, stop doing this, stop doing that. That shit be some lame ass shit. But it seemed like the baby was a real nigga. Hopefully he continue to be a real nigga in this whole video. I don't know. Shit might change up in this video. I don't know. You feel me? That's why we're watching this shit. Where? And again, fans were loving it. And then when me and baby came, man, that's all you heard. Along with the fact that his debut album was filled with hits such as Suge, Going Baby, Pony, Walker, Texas Ranger, Best Friend, and Babysitter with Offset to name a few. Another big reason that Baby on Baby blew up so much in the mainstream was due to DaBaby's new record deal with Interscope. But while it was announced in January of 2019 that DaBaby had signed to Interscope Records in a joint partnership with his own label, DaBaby also made it clear that his artist Stunna for Vegas was part of the deal as well. Like, I got a deal that Stunna for Vegas wasn't supposed to get, but... Baby stood on that. This little nigga a star. So if y'all, you feel me? Like I got the same deal as Baby. Baby was basically telling Interscope, like, nah. Stunna for Vegas would officially ink his joint record deal with Interscope in May of 2019, and along with his new contract. You see, that's what I'm saying. Y'all can't say the baby ain't a real nigga. The baby is a real nigga, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all can't sit here and cap like he not a real nigga, bro. He literally told this nigga, bro, you gotta get my peoples right, bro. On gang, if you want me to sign. Tracked came his debut album, Big Four Times, featuring more mainstream names with the help of his new labels, such as Offset, Lil Durk, and Ali Choppa, Young Nudie, and of course, two songs with his good friend. The year of 2019 would just keep getting better and better for Stunna and a baby. In addition to his second studio album, Kirk, in September, becoming his first project to ever reach number one on Billboard, which included another Stunna for Vegas feature on the song, Really, not to mention the baby's features on massive mainstream hits with Post Malone, Lil Nas X, and one of his best verses ever on J. Cole's under the sun, the baby's 2019 run was honestly insane. Before COVID, I was already getting 400,000, a show 300,000. I definitely got some 400,000. I was getting 300,000 consistently, though, 250, 300. Combined with Creed. Imagine what I do a 100,000, bro. Hell, cat. I just play, I, I, I just fuck. 
I'm just fucking with y'all niggas, bro. Y'all thought I was going to do some nigga shit like that. Man, first of all, if I get a 100K right now, I'm paying off my little car. I got a little K5. That bitch only motherfucking 30,000. Pay that bitch off. Well, it's less than 30K now because I've been paying that bitch. Motherfucking damn, they put a little down payment on the motherfucking crib. She, you know, because I've been talking to a little real estate agent to try to, you feel me, get a little crib. Anyway, that help out. Then I done and probably get two cribs, invest one. Then I might be able to get a bigger crib, get a duplex or some shit, motherfucking be able to rent that bitch out, stay on the other side. But I don't want to be next to motherfuckers because I hate motherfuckers. Creative and unique music videos through the Real Goats production team, the two were constantly going viral for the right reasons. However, while from Stone's perspective, signing with arguably the hottest artist out proved to be a pivotal moment catapulting him into the industry. Just a year later in 2020, though, everything was about to change. If the beginning of 2020 was anything to judge, it was looking to be another huge year for Stunna for Vegas. Led by the project single Up the Smoke with Offset, raking in over 100 million streams on Spotify alone, Stunna would release his second album, Rich Youngin', in January of 2020, his highest charting project to date. With all of this momentum, just a month later then in February, he would land a feature on Polo G's track, Go Stupid, alongside Annalie Chapo. Stunna's yeah. most streamed song ever. All this shit seemed like a long ass time ago. But this shit not been that long ago. But it's like all this shit happened when I was in high school still. Like 2019, I was in high school. I, I literally graduated high school in 2020. So all this shit seemed like it's so far away because I feel like I've been out of high school for so long. But I only been out of high school for four years. Well, it's going to be four years. But this shit feel like it's far as hell, but it's really not been that far away. For released. Again, things were starting off great. However, then came March of 2020, and as we all know, the COVID pandemic. Not only would COVID shut down the entire world, but it also put an abrupt stop to the baby and stunnest concerts they had been playing basically every COVID, COVID, you feel me? I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all, bro. Yo, 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 what do I do for work? I was just finna get into that, bro. So motherfucking COVID is literally the thing that motherfucking changed my life, bro. Not for the most part, but for the most part. So basically, uh, you know, it wasn't shit to do. Uh, everybody was on their phones. Uh, I was in school at the time, you feel me? I actually had a job at motherfucking UPS. I quit that bitch a day later. Because I'd be like, it's my last year of high school. Why not chase my dreams, put my all into social media? And if I don't make it on social media, fuck it, I'll go to the military. Uh, I got 100,000 followers on TikTok. Before I graduated high school, been making a living from social media since. Social media is how I got approved for my house, my two cars, all that shit. Like social media, like that's my main thing. You, I'm just trying to come over to YouTube now, but TikTok is the thing that pay me and Instagram too. You feel me? But COVID was the best thing to happen because that's what made me start up. My social media made me just focus on that shit so hard. Because everybody was in the crib. So I went crazy on social media. Like, went crazy, bro. They had missed a day of posting for like a full year, bro. And, yeah, I made, I can even show my big account. I made over six figures just from TikTok. Not at one time, though. But, like, in my motherfucking, it's going to be four years of me doing TikTok. In my four years, I made over six, six, six figures just from TikTok alone. That's some crazy shit right there. I come from, I come from nothing. You feel me? And I made that through my phone. Every night. And although these live shows were definitely huge for their growth, the lockdown could not stop the baby though from continuing to release music. Actually going on to land his biggest five-time platinum and first number one hit rock star with Roddy Rich on his Blame It On Baby Better album in April. for Vegas, who was featured twice on the album's deluxe in August, would a month later find himself in some drama. After rumors that he got his chain snatched in Atlanta began as someone posted a video online in possession of Stunna's ice. Since, as we know, this can be terrible for a rapper's reputation, Stunna was extremely fast to deny these claims. And I ain't gonna cap to you, it seemed like the baby is the type of motherfucker that motherfucker, if you get your chain snatched, he gonna be mad as hell. He gonna feel like, motherfucker, you making me look bad, gang. You making me look bad now at this point. Appreciate it, gang. Appreciate it for sure. You went in the car and you stole 
We're trying to get them changed. You can keep everything else you find in the will. We want the chains. Stunna claimed that the robber stole his jewelry out of his car instead of off his neck. But regardless, this whole incident was... I mean, I ain't gonna cap to you. It seemed like every motherfucking rapper say, oh, they snatched, they stole it from me, they stole it from me. And, and no one ain't, no one ain't never get their chain took. Everybody always getting their chain stolen. So shit, I don't know. That's what everybody be saying. Just a sign of what was to come in the months ahead. Stunna for Vegas released his third album, Welcome to For Vegas, in November of 2020, but despite another feature from label boss DaBaby, compared to his previous work, this album flopped, becoming Stunna's first project to not even chart on Billboard at all. And then came 2021. Fresh off of one of the biggest songs of the year, his levitating remix with Dua Lipa, something DaBaby would say during his 2021 Rolling Loud performance in Miami was about to change everything. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases. They'll make you die two, three weeks, put the cell phone like that. Uh, fellas, if you ain't sucking in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Let's be uh, real about this shit. KSU. KSU. You robbing when that shit came up, bro. They tried to cancel some folks' ass so bad. They trying to get him over with. It's like, man, you can't say certain shit like that. I mean, when I first started, uh, when when I first started, around when I first started social media, and I made a post because uh, they was talking about adding some shit to LGBTQ shit into the schools and making kids take that shit. I'm like, man, y'all shouldn't force that shit on motherfuckers, on gang. It's like, if a motherfucker want to do it, they want to do it. If they don't, they don't. But that shit shouldn't be forced. That's what make motherfuckers not want to deal with that shit. And then that's when my, that shit ended up getting like a million views. It wasn't even my most biggest post, but those LGBTQ motherfuckers take that shit to the stream. Like they was acting like that was my most biggest post or some shit. I just took that post down at like 1.5 million. And they asked, still was fucking with me over that shit. I'm like, don't fuck with that community, bro. Don't fuck with that community. Don't say shit about that community, bro. You don't want to deal with that shit, bro. Like, literally, they, they take that shit to the stream for sure. Following these homophobic comments at Rolling Loud, the baby's career was never the same. At a time when internet cancel culture was arguably at its peak, we started seeing DaBaby quickly get dropped from these festivals and brands left and right, clearly making a dent in his public reputation. However, as I mentioned in my video about why these rapper-owned record labels always fail, one of the biggest problems when you sign to another artist is that your career is now also affected by what happens to them. Even if it's oh, very man. negative, such as getting canceled like DaBaby did once he doubled down on his comments. Oh, and he just kept making mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake honestly i thought this would happen a long time ago yeah but due to all this controversy neither the baby nor St then that was some hating ass shit he said i thought that shit was gonna happen a long time ago at the end of the day bro y'all can't cancel a motherfucker just for being a self though like bro niggas gonna say what they gonna say people i, I don't care bro i want to cancel a white motherfucker for saying nigga I don't give a fuck. You feel me? Don't you ain't trying to say that shit disrespectful to me, bro. I don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers be so sensitive nowadays. That that be the problem with the world, bro. And that's why people can't be themselves because motherfuckers too fucking sensitive. I don't care, bro. If a motherfucker racist and he racist over the internet, I ain't gonna cancel that motherfucker. Shit, just make sure his ass don't come around me with that bullshit. But lots of motherfuckers want to be in control and shit, thinking they run some shit. Stunna for Vegas would release an album in 2021. And for a rapper like Stunna, who was already in need of another big song, this would prove to be a costly mistake. Stunna finally returned in May of 2022 with his fourth album, Ray Ray Sun, but by this point, it was too late. Despite another DaBaby collab on the Deluxe with a DA Got That Dope beat, which would have likely been a hit had it dropped three years ago, this project would again fail to even chart. And as it now yeah. turns out, not only would Standoff be the last Stunna for Vegas and DaBaby song we've heard as of this video, but this album would go down as Stunna's last release while signed to DaBaby and his record label. So what actually happened behind the scenes? If there's one thing fans need to know about Stunna for Vegas, it's that he's never cared about clout or the antics that come with the music industry. With that being said, although many fans believe that he was dropped from his label after his music kept flopping, Stunna has since clarified that he actually asked to be released himself. In state. Man, my label ain't dropped me. I asked to be out. You dumb. Just look at my house, goofy.
Now, you might be wondering, why would Stunna give up this great record deal that rappers all around the world would do anything to have? Shit, I ain't gonna cap to you. He probably saw that, like, he didn't have what it take to come with this shit no more. He just felt like, man, the lifestyle that I want, what I want to live, this, that, just, you know, this rap shit not for me, shit. Some motherfuckers, it's just like a, you gotta understand, rapping shit is just like a job, too, bro. Some you gotta realize, bro. Some motherfucker, you you will get a job. You get it. It's not what I thought. I really want to do something else. That's the same shit with rapping, gang, or any shit. But it all stems back to his personal life. Following the pandemic, Stunna for Vegas moved to Houston, where he not only met his girl and fell in love, but also announced in May of 2023 that he was having his first kid. I tightened up for you. I turned all this shit around for you. I love you so much, Stunna posted. I appreciate Man, fuck that shit, bro. I ain't having no kid with no female that I meet once I get famous, bro. If I'm getting a female pregnant, bro, it's gonna be a female that fuck with me when I was a fucking scrub on the street, when I was a fucking bum. Those are the only type of females I'm getting pregnant on gang that fuck with me at my lowest. Well, I ain't have shit but motherfucking two pennies and motherfucking a nigga weed. Yeah, just like that. Come on now. Those are the females I'm fucking with. Not the ones that fuck with me when I got chains and a hundred racks in my pocket. I don't want you. I want to fuck you though. Appreciate you and your mama for changing my life right on time. I did come to Houston. I found love in Houston, man. I found peace in Houston. I came to Houston and started thinking way different. I stopped doing a lot of shit I was doing. I just, like, grew up for real. After moving to Houston, Stunna credits not only his new baby for turning his life around, but also AAU basketball. One day while at his 24-hour fitness gym, a local AAU team was practicing on the courts. And once the players noticed Stunna and introduced themselves, Stunna basically took over the team as their new owner. What I wanted when I was playing AAU, I knew what shoes were. I know what shoes them boys gonna want to play in. Like you feel me? I know what jerseys they're gonna want to play in. I know what tournaments they're gonna want to play in. But just come with me. Y'all ain't gotta pay me or nothing. Y'all just gotta come hoop. As a huge basketball fan his entire life, and now wanting to be a positive role model for young. He a real nigga. That's what I said some motherfuckers just change their life. And be like low key, I don't want to do this shit no more. But I want to do something else, and that's perfectly fine, bro. That's some real nigga shit too kids, Stana's dreams of venturing into the business side of sports combined with simply his loss of passion for making new rap music would all lead to Stana asking to be released from DaBaby's label and Interscope Records. Hey, yeah, I got, I, I lost my passion and that, and that probably like led me to getting discouraged. I was happy because uh, I was knowing that, oh, I'm about to start this venture that I knew I was planning the whole time trying to get out. It wasn't even no rap, though. It was literally like all AU shit. You know what I'm saying? I was, that's when I was like, I'm about to chill. But along with now managing an AAU basketball team and even hosting AAU showcases in Houston, after realizing that he would have to totally give up music and possibly have to go to college in order to really succeed as a professional sports agent, Stunna decided to just continue releasing music to his core fan base, this time on his own terms. Partnering with a Tampa-based distribution company, STB Entertainment, Stunna would make his return and drop his fifth album, Forever, in February of 2024. However, unless you're a huge fan, the rest of us had no idea this even released, and obviously did not chart. As his first album ever with no feature from DaBaby, although other billion-dollar baby artists such as K Kilo have publicly called out DaBaby for the way they were managed and promoted while signed under him, Stunna has since said that there is no bad blood, and that he simply grew apart from DaBaby over... Yeah, I mean, the baby probably ain't promote their ass, but Stunner, he did everything. He tried. He tried with Stunner. It's just that shit didn't work out with him. But you could, you, you can't say he ain't tried with Stunner. That's one thing y'all ass cannot say he ain't do. For time. We ain't even fall out about shit, You feel me? Like, at all. Okay. So Niggas just parted ways, bro. Parted ways, grow, music grow, grow, Like, grow away from each other. It, didn't, it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, what's your relationship with the baby now? Like, do y'all talk or you don't talk no more? No, we don't really talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, it's sad to see just how fast the once unstoppable duo of DaBaby and Stunna for Vegas has broke apart. And the truth is, as DaBaby's career has continued to slip in popularity, so has Stunna's. But at the same time, nothing good lasts forever. Now at age 28, and as he says, a grown man with responsibilities more important than rap, although he is thankful for what music has done for him, Stunna has also accepted that his peak days as an artist are behind him. However, with now a family of his own, hit songs that 
I mean, any rapper could motherfucking come back if they truly, truly want to. Rappers came back and made comebacks and shit. It's just niggas, like he said, he lost. If you lost that passion for that shit, you ain't gonna be able to come back. It's the only ones that's passionate and really got that flame. Like I want to come back and I want to be a motherfucking rapper. Those the ones that come back. But if you're not feeling it, you're trying to force yourself to be a rapper. That shit ain't gonna work. That will live on forever and currently doing what he loves in AAU basketball. Stunner for Vegas seems to be happy, which at the end of the day. Okay. I fucks with this video. I fucks with it. Low key. We go subscribe to folks ass. He got the subscribe fucking board on game. Just like that. Shout out to 1111 for this motherfucking video. We finna go on to the next video now. Ooh, we on track, man. We on track. 